Hi, this is Tina at Tina Stitches. Welcome to my channel. I just startled the dog. He's not used to noise happening out here. I decided to film out here because this is where my new stitching spot is. Not in this particular chair, but out in this room. And I thought it'd be easier to film it out here where my stuff was than in the other room. And it turns out that it's probably would have been easier in the other room because that's where my bigger pieces are. Anyways, I am filming this on Friday, March 30th. It is 6 o'clock p.m. and I was going to film it earlier but people showed up and you know how that goes. And um, I have found out that I have been found out. My family has not known, my extended family has not known, as far as I know, that I do this. But now, I, my niece from Calgary has shown up and it has been revealed about my floss tube. And I'm okay with that. I don't think that I've said anything that would offend anybody. So, I try to keep my personal life personal. So, I will share a few things, but... Um, so yeah, that was interesting. She thought that I had started it back in 2015 because of my floss tube account being opened at that time, but I haven't. It's only been since April of last year, so I'm going to be coming up on my one-year anniversary, the floss, floss tube anniversary. I think it is. I don't know what they're calling it, but anyways, Flossiversary, something like that. Anyways, um, it's, life has been pretty normal. Not much has been happening. The house has been behaving. Um, dogs are doing good. Family's doing good. Job is job is crazy and now everybody at work I'm sure is going to know. Um, some exciting news happened there. The one co-worker, um, his wife just had the baby, their baby, number two, yesterday morning at 12.30 in the morning. So that's kind of exciting. So he didn't make it into work yesterday. And it was a hectic, hectic day being a day before a long weekend. So Thanks, Brian. Anyways, on to, on to, whoops, I've worked on five things. Just going to check my thing here. One, five. And one finish. And quite a bit of progress on three of them. One was a finish, and one was not so much progress, but a little bit of progress was made. And quite a bit of haul for me, which I think I have here. I think I have all of it. So let's start with... Christmas Eve. Pull this closer. Christmas Eve fun, which is the one that actually I did not do very much on. I've only worked on it for two days. And this is what it looks like finished. And this is the stocking that I'm doing for my dad. And this is where I am. And not a whole lot has been stitched, mostly just this area right here. Um, yeah, just because 
it's in my floor stand and I can't recline. And I have made progress in the lorry stand purchase area in that we have three more car payments and then I'm getting a lorry. And that has been approved by the hub. Not that I need his approval <laughs> to spend the money. So that's Christmas Eve fun, Dimensions Gold. I hope you can hear me because I did, I did invest in a microphone, but it's over here. So if I'm facing this way, I don't know how well it's going to record. It's, I guess we'll find out. So... Next, we have Lily of the Valley by Nora Corbett, and that's what it'll look like finished. And this one I'm doing for my niece, Lily, whose birthday is in May, and I believe the flower for the month of May is Lily of the Valley. I could be wrong. Don't take my word for it. And here is where I am Here's where I am now. I have most of the dress done. The side here is all done and I moved the Q snap. And this side is just one more row of flowers. This one needs one more color, I think. And then there's some greenery in here. And then I can move the, up to the body part up here, which is not done at all, I think. I think only the green part is done. And I don't have any of the flesh tones done. So I'd need to do the flesh and the wings and the hair. And I'm hoping to have it done so I can send it to her for her birthday. But if she gets it late, I'm okay with that. So that's Lily of the Valley. That was the, the one that I worked the most on as far as day. Well, no. Second most. Um, the one that I worked the most on is my Chatelaine. Royal Tudor Man Mandala, Mandala, and I'm not exactly sure where I was when I last filmed it. I think I only had a little tiny bit of the center done, and I now, I don't know if I'll need something behind this. But now I have the entire center done minus one floss, which I don't have. So it is ordered now. And all the beading I have not done at all. But the, this fence line and this fence line is done. This one is only the green is done. And then I would need to do the one at the top, which is the same. But I have been participating in the 100-day challenge on Chatelaine Facebook group. I think it's a Chatelaine support group. And um, so far, it's been going pretty good. I've 
even when I don't feel like stitching on it, I, I make myself do one, one length of floss. So that's where that one is. And this one is going to take a long time. A long time. Especially with all the beading that has to be done. So that's that. And then the one that has, I think it has probably got the most significant progress on it. But I can't be 100% sure. I mean, I do work on it quite regularly. And um, regular as in on the weekends, a long, long stretches of stitching time on the weekends. So that is my beloved. which looks like this. And this is where I am. So it's hard to tell, but it's mostly the hair here on her. I think I was only about here on the last video. So all the way over. Plus the his hair here from this page line down is where I've stitched. So it's coming along quite nicely. I've made my quota for the full coverage fanatics for March, so because I'm stitching it two threads over one on 25 count, I have to get 2,400 stitches in instead of the 1,200 because they're not full crosses. So that's where that is. And somebody was asking me about the frame. The frame that you see here, my husband made. And he based it off of another frame. Which I have over here. Which came in a Mary Maxim catalog and it was made by crafters canada which i don't know if they do any anymore but basically it was a scroll frame set and you got the bars that came up which are being used on that and it's meant for a certain size of frame so those are the frames, actually, that I'm using for this. There's my back. No back shaming. So, when I bought this, when my husband got me this stand, I had these frames already. I have two of this scroll frame set and so this fit in here with the right spacers so my husband used that as a model and he cut the length to what I needed for that for, for that scroll frame he cut the base the length and then he cut uprights and he basically just 
did the same thing. He just glued it and screwed it and drilled it and put the, I don't know what to call them. These pieces. And then he made the spacers because when he, when we measured it, the spacer from that one made it not fit into this length properly because we didn't measure it right. But we wanted it to clear this uh, set of knobs. So it all worked out. And that's how that tabletop frame set works. When I'm working on my stocking for Christmas Eve fun and my other stocking, in these frames I have them on my floor mounted frame stand, which sits in front of me, so I have to sit upright to use it. And lately I've become spoiled to using a recliner, so that's why I have my eyes on a Lowry now. And that's going to be soon, I hope. I know I'm speaking quietly, but I'm out in the living room where people who film floss to know you don't want anybody in the house. You'd rather do this without an audience, even though you're speaking to an audience. It's just weird. And I know right beneath me is my son's room and just over from that is my other son's room and earlier I heard bass so I knew he was playing his video games and now I hear complete silence so I don't know if he's listening to me not that there's much that he'd care about hearing but and my husband is here 24 7 and yeah, you just, you want privacy when you do this, which is why most of the time, well, that's why I was filming it in the other room, but who knows, maybe I'll be out here filming, who knows where the next video will be. That's all I gotta say about that. It's actually pretty bright out. My camera is showing it pretty bright out compared to what it actually is. I don't have the overhead light on. But this overhead light is so dim that I don't think it would make a difference. So, what's next? Um, finishes. And my dog. Now that I'm blocked into this corner, surrounded by all my whips and stuff, he wants out. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. He's been let outside, so we should be good. Although, I know he's getting hungry. And being that he's diabetic and on a strict routine, he gets antsy come dinner time. So, anyways, finishes. It's not fully, fully fully finished but here is Prancer by Nora Corbett and you're getting glare of everything there that's better it's only loosely in this frame this is actually the frame that I had bought for this series but I had put Alice in it when it was finished I went and got Alice a white frame and stole this back for these so 
there's Prancer, all finished. And I don't know if you can see all of the jewels, all the bling. It would be nice to get some museum glass for these, but I don't know if I can. Um, I probably could. I don't know why. I should just go in and ask because I'm at the framing store. Although, where I went the last time to get something framed, they didn't put museum glass in it. So, I don't know if it's the same people that are running the place, but the last, I was not happy with. So that's my finish, and it was done almost immediately. I think it was probably even done by the time my last video was finished uploading, because these things take a long time. Um, this is These are two finishes that I've had in my closet, and I've had frames. I bought these frames off of... Uh, um, Stat, not stash unload, but like a yard sale online, Facebook, whatever, getting rid of their junk group. Storage wars. Yeah. This is Blackbird Designs. I'm going to say Basket of Cherries but I'm sure that's not the proper name. And that's what I had originally bought the frames for, was for this series. And then when I was stitching this one up, I realized it was not going to fit nicely. But I decided earlier this week, actually it was last week, to pull it out and just see if it fit. And it actually does fit just inside. And I'm, I don't normally do Blackbird designs, and I did get in a little bit of a kick with them. I have Strawberry Fields Forever done and framed, and it's over there. I just didn't bring it over here. And I know a lot of people are working on that one right now. So I will show it one day. Um, and this is an ornament, which I never fully finished. My phone's just telling me my battery's dying, so... I'm going to make this quick. This is an ornament that I never fully finished, and I decided to see how it fit in the frame. It doesn't look that bad from here, but what you can't tell from this angle is that it's a lot closer down here than it is up here. And that's because the fabric ends right here, like this is right the bottom is touching inside the frame. Well, there you go, there's the frame. Because when I made, when I stitched it, I intended to actually make it an ornament, but now I think I would rather frame it. It's a, a lot of specialty stitches. Nun stitch and scotch stitch and hardanger cut work. Smyrna crosses and all that. And I actually stitched this more than more than 15 years ago, because we did not live in this house when this was finished. So, I'm debating whether or not to, to frame that in that frame, or try to find a slightly smaller opening frame for it, just because of that bottom edge. And... Now, I'm just going to quickly run through some haul before my phone dies. So 
So one of the things that I bought, I got off of Amazon, and it was a cute little set. Scissors, thimble, and needle case. And it's, honestly, I'm sure that this is a standard thimble. I'm sure that's available anywhere like that. It's just got a pretty little ribbon design on it. But it was a set, and I like the scissors. And when I ordered them off of Amazon, I figured, I thought they were coming from Canada. I don't know why, but they were from China. I don't have a problem with that. But what I found funny was that on the back, the description. Sorry about that, my camera battery died. So I quickly charged it up. I'm at 20% now. I'm running out of daylight and dogs are being a little frisky now. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're playing. Get you, they're both fixed. But get you they're both playing, and Gonzo's was like, this is not playing. So anyways, if you can hear that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sexual frustration, right? Anyways. I was saying about these scissors, the um, description on the back, it's not focusing, come on, focus. But anyways, it's funny because it's, primary language is Japan, Chinese, I'm sure, but the English translation has the same paragraph written twice with one word different. The, it says, rich in classical exotic European styles, our classical scissors pursue the elegant ancient tradition of the European nobles in their unique design and exquisite texture. The next paragraph says, rich in exotic European styles, our classical scissors pursue the elegant and ancient tradition of European nobles in their unique design and exquisite texture. And the next sentence is exactly the same, but I just thought that was funny. You get a kick out of little things, right? But they're pretty. And I do have a thing for scissors. And we were joking earlier with my brother-in-law about um, my sister was rousing him about buying all of this stuff for hiking and camping and stuff. And I said, we all have to have our passions. And then they start rousing me about the scissors and how when my house threatened to burn down, my husband went and grabbed the cross stitch stuff and they're like, grab the scissors. And you know, he'd be on the phone dialing 911 for an ambulance because now he fell and got stabbed with a whole bunch of pretty little scissors. So that was, um, yeah, I have a thing for scissors. And then this needle case came with it. I'm losing the light here, so it's artificial light right now. Um, but it's very, very loose. And actually, if you put it on the other way, it, it will fall off. So I don't plan on using it inside a project bag without it being inside an ocean bag. And the thimble, to be honest, the thimble, I have very small hands. 
very small hands. And this is just going to fall off. So don't mind me giving you the finger, but it's, it's literally, it doesn't matter what finger I put it on. And so I knew that the thimble might be a problem because because of my small hands and whenever I do need to use a thimble I use this leather thimble by Clover. I find it works really really well and I actually bought it when I was making the dimensions stocking kits because the with the Dimensions Gold Kits, you're using so many um, different numbers of threads. Usually, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's even four strands of one color or a mixture of blends. But it gets really, really hard on the finger. And I found I was bandaging my finger because the needle was going right through. So invested in a thimble, in this leather thimble, and I love it. I think it even has replaceable um, pads there, but that might be for a different different style. Anyways, that's the one makeup haul. And next one that I got was Beautiful, beautiful. Gotta love Etsy. Just click buy now and it sends, it's automatic, it's done. You're buying it. Oh, this way. Um, just trying to show this basically the way that I got it. I'm sure we all recognize the wonderful Denkai designs. And I have been wanting her needle minders for a very long time. So I went on and I picked out a few. I got the dragon. I got the key to 21B Baker Street. And of course, of course, I had to get the Mad Hatter Starbucks needle winder. And I know I have been explaining on how to use um, mint roller sheets for um, beading, but I went ahead and got one of her bead needle minders. So I'm going to be trying that out pretty soon, probably with Lily. And this was the freebie. Cute little stand. I don't know where I would use that one, but I'm sure I will find a project to put it on. And of course, the hearts. And my phone is telling me I gotta hurry up. So I got those. And then I also got some Q-snaps, which everybody knows what those look like. And I went ahead on Etsy and I bought the Jump Into Spring bag from Caroline at Off The Grid Evertrope. Okay, so now I've ran out of mummery. I really need to clean up my phone. 
So I, yes, I ordered this bag from Evertote and what really got me drawn to it was this beautiful bag. I mean, with beautiful yarns, but the fact that there was going to be a gauntlet pattern, a fingerless knit glove pattern, and I'm really into the gauntlets. If I'm going to knit anything, it's probably going to be gauntlets. And it's, um, I don't have my first pair here, but for those people who are into video games, you'll understand. I've nicknamed the gauntlets that I've made. The first pair were a simple pair, and they were called woolen gauntlets. Uh, the next pair that I made are, I put one on, this, and I call it the chain gauntlet, because there's a bit of a, a chain design on it. And then these ones, which I wear most of the time. These are my favorite ones, the sparkle gauntlets, because there is some sparkly in the wool. So the thought of getting a free, well not exactly free, a gauntlet pattern to make with this set was what really sold it for me. So, I am looking forward to doing that. I got it in the mail yesterday, and I went and looked, and I do have the proper needles, and I will be calling my mom off because I've never knitted a two-color project before, so she's going to have to teach me that, or I'm going to have to Google it. She doesn't live right nearby, so... We'll see. Um, plans. May is coming along real quickly, and I don't think I I will participate in mania, but only in that I'm going to stitch only on the days where <clears throat> I don't have something else planned. And my intention is to stitch on whatever I started last year on the day. So on, let's just say, I remember that on May 13th, I stitched, I started my dad's stocking. So on May 13th, again, I will start my dad's stock. I will work on my dad's stocking because there's no way that's going to be done. Um, and I think I want Lily's, uh, Lily of the Valley to be done. So on the day that was Lily of the Valley, I will probably probably start another project um i don't know about a stitch with me video i don't have the setup that i had before because my chair is now out here and setting up out here is a little bit awkward because of traffic and it's funny because when my camera died the last time I went and I plugged it in in the back and my son snuck through to use the washer and then went back. So I'm pretty sure that he was waiting until I was not filming before he went anywhere. And now the dogs have settled down. So I do want to say thank you to everybody for joining me and being patient with all the cuts and snippets that are going to be happening with this video. And uh, to say congratulations to Brian and Amanda. Because I think they might be seeing this video. I don't know if they'll watch it the whole way through. But anyways. And... Um, I don't want to say I'm a lot, so I'm trying to think of everything. Follow me on Instagram at Tina Stitches 74 Like, subscribe, comment. I will try to answer all the comments. 
or at least acknowledge that I've seen the comments. It's nice to, to read the comments. Um, other plants, I don't really have any other plants. I'm gonna make more project bags, more notion bags. I've made some notion bags, but I forgot to show them. Um, Yeah, I'll probably film again in about, it seems to be every three weeks. So being that this is the last day of March, or next to last day of March, then the next video should be mid-April. But we'll see. Plans can change. I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I do want to plug a store, though. My husband is now doing some cross-stitch patterns. And he has put some up on Etsy, and his store is Flinging Ink. I will try to link that below. I will warn you, though, it is not safe for work. Um, it's not what your grandmother would stitch. But of course, I don't know what your grandma would stitch. So maybe she would. Um, yeah. So if you want to check those out, uh, right now it's very limited and it's beginner. He's just getting into it, so he doesn't have the um, digital downloads and all that worked out yet. But And I'm back. My phone keeps dying on me. And I was in the middle of plugging my husband's store. So that is Flinging Ink on Etsy. I will link that below. And I just had one more thing to share with you. And that is my most favorite thing in the world today. And today, that's a bear claw. And if you don't, this is really just a back scratcher. It expands. And you're wondering why is it the latest, greatest thing? It does scratch your back, but you know what else it does? My dog, Gidget, is absolutely obsessed with tennis balls. And when you're stitching and you have clean hands and you don't want to touch that disgusting, filthy, slobbery, black tennis ball, scoop it up with this and just flick it off. Or, you know, just casually reach over and drop it. And sometimes she gets the hint. Most of the time she doesn't, but after a few just casual drops, she grabs her ball and goes and sees dad because he's more fun. He throws it with his version of a uh, bear claw. So that is all that I have to share today and I know that I missed a few things like my fabric count sizes my colors I I have shared them in previous videos and if you really want to know you can just leave me a message and I will answer it but I know that my phone is going to die again so I have to make this quick so you know I started at six and it's now almost eight. This and this is gonna take a while to edit and chop up properly and upload, so you probably won't see this till Saturday, midday, something like that. So and I just realized earlier now that my dad is probably gonna find out about this. No, I'm gonna tell Tammy not to tell him because his stalking is supposed to be a surprise and I don't want him to see it in progress. So I will have to arrange that. He can watch it anytime after. Maybe, I don't think he'd be interested, but I know he misses us, so he might. Anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a good Easter and uh, get lots of stitching done.